Back to Canberra now because joining me is independent MP Di Lee and independent MP Kylie Tink. Thanks so much, ladies, for joining me this morning. Uh, first of all, uh, Kylie, I'll get from both of you a good and a bad element of the budget. Good element of the budget restraint. I think we saw a budget that was handed down that invested in supporting the most vulnerable within our community without um, going overboard in how that support is being provided. The bad, no real reform on how our economy derives its income. And as a consequence, we have an economy that is still built off the back of workers, um, workers that are getting tired, workers that are ageing. And, you know, the fact of the matter that the government will make more of somebody's tobacco addiction than they will make of the gas that is extracted from our ground in the next 12 months is simply mind-blowing. Dai Lee? Um, look, for me, uh, I'm glad that the government made cost of living as the centrepiece of the budget. Uh, since my election to Parliament, I have made... Uh, I have kind of made cost of living an issue with the government and have raised it with them over and over. So it's great to see that, that that's what the government has done. Uh, in terms of support, obviously, you know, it's great to see some increase to those in need. Um, I question, though, $40 a fortnight, which is $20 a week for JobSeeker. It works out to be about $2.85 a day. Um, you know, for students travelling to uni or to work, it costs about 6 bucks from where from Fowler into the city. Uh, and for adults, it's about 12 bucks uh, a day return for public transport, and not to talk about the toll mm. that you have to pay as well. So, um, so I don't know what's the, you know, such such small uh, measure. I don't know how that's going to assist because the cost of living is still such a, a you know, so yeah. high. A rent is high, interest rate is high. Uh, the issue for me, although, is the students. 20% of our students um, in Fowler go to university. And there's seven percent indexation, which means they'll have to fork out like high, you know, pay pay for their hex. And many of our parliamentarians, of course, have had free education. So, from my perspective, it's going to be for the young people of our community, not just in Fowler, Fowler but across the country. Um, they will have to really um, find a means to actually study and uh, go to mm. work and all of that. And these are the future of our country, and we are not supporting them at all. So there are, more, there are more, of course, in the budget, but those are the things that I, I picked out from 